Hello, how are we all today? We've got a story that is um, picked by Martha, and this is a bit girly. A bit girly. So Martha is dedicating this to three of her to good the friends. Girlfriends that are in Puppy Club, and they are Georgia and Sophia. And we would also like to give a huge shout out to Ariella and Bella. Very good. What about all your, your rainbow friends? And all my rainbow friends. And all of your class at school? And the entire class, including Miss Caitlin and Miss Belinda. Perfect. Okay, so it's called Tooth Fairy Magic, and it's written by Gabby Goldsack. Oh, that's it's got some it's got some lovely pictures. Tooth Fairy Magic. And we have our own Martha Fairy today. Fairyland Forest. Fairyland Forest was alive with the twinkle, the tinkle of tiny voices and the whisper of fluttering wings. It was the night of the fairy gathering when fairies from all over the kingdom came to see Queen Isabella. Everyone was there except for Sparkle, the Tooth Fairy. Sparkle was collecting little teeth from girls and boys. Like you. Like you. Sparkle loved children and adored her job, but it meant she was always late. Uh-oh. <laughs> the forest suddenly went quiet. In a glittering flash of fairy dust, Queen Isabella appeared before the waiting fairies. Is everyone here? No, she asked in a voice as sweet as honey and as light as a fairy's ring. Uh, not quite, said one of the little fairies stepping into the fairy ring. It was Trixie the fairy, the problem solving fairy. My best friend Sparkle is still hard at work. She is the tooth fairy. She collects all the little teeth children lose just before they get their grown-up teeth. She never knows where she's going to find one, so she has to search every nook and cranny, which takes a very long time. When Trixie had finished speaking, an important-looking fairy with a big stick tapped the ground three times. Let the meeting begin, she announced in a serious voice. The first fairy to stand before Queen Isabella was Zoe, the sewing fairy. Zoe! She told everyone how she had made too many fairy bags and didn't know what to do with them. Then, while everyone puzzled over Zoe's problem, Ursula, the potions fairy, stood up. And we know a little sewing fairy called Zoe. Do we? In one L. In one L. Hi Zoe. I've run out of sparkles, she said. Without sparkles I can't make fairy dust and without fairy dust there is no magic. I need to find something sparkly, pure and good to make more sparkles. Ursula had barely finished speaking when a fairy suddenly flopped down in the centre of the fairy ring. It was a very tired and dirty looking sparkle. She'd had a hard night searching for teeth beneath dusty beds and grimy floorboards. I heard that, she panted, and I got just the thing. Sparkle reached into the fairy purse she was carrying and pulled out something that sparkled in the moonlight. Oh, baby teeth she explained. What could be more pure and good? And just look at that sparkle. We brush our teeth very well, so, so they're pure for good, good sparkle. Yay. Magic for the fairy. Everyone, including Queen Isabella, agreed that it was a perfect solution to Ursula's problem. And I've had an idea for Zoe's fairy bags, announced Trixie. We can give them all to the little children to put their baby teeth in. Then they can put the bag under their pillow. And that way Sparkle won't always have to spend so much time searching for lots of And she won't be late for anything. Sparkle nodded her head enthusiastically. I think it would be nice if we left the children a reward for their teeth too, she added. After all, without them, we wouldn't have any fairy dust. Queen Isabella was very pleased with the fairies' ideas. Well done, everyone, she said. 
when the meeting had finished, all the fairies fluttered and flew off into the forest. The following day, before Sparkle flew off, the fairies gathered together to write letters to all of the little children in the world. As the fairies scribbled away, Sparkle told them what to write. I wrote my name in the book. So it says, dear, and then it says, dear you know, this Martha one says Martha Cox. Cox. Don't worry if your baby tooth begins to wobble. Okay. And then falls out, put it in this little pouch and pop it under your pillow when you go to bed. While you are sleeping, I will take it away and leave you a coin in its place. I Don't actually got worry. a bag, Did you? but I lost it. <laughs> Don't worry about the gap in your missing baby tooth, thieves. A brand new tooth will soon grow to fill it. Lots of love, Sparkle the Tooth Fairy. When the fairies finished writing the letters, they all helped Sparkle deliver them, along with the tiny fairy bags. From that day on, Sparkle was never late for anything again because her job was much easier. Yeah. All the little children put their baby teeth in their little pouches and placed them under their pillows where Sparkle could find them. Never again did she have to scramble under beds or between floorboards. Sparkle was a very happy fairy indeed. And very fed the fairy all Sparkle over. wasn't the only one who was happy. Zoe was happy because all her lovely bags were being used and Ursula was happy because she had lots and lots of gorgeous sparkles for her fairy dust. Queen Isabella and the rest of the fairies were happy because they had lots of fairy dust to do magic things with. But best of all, the little children were happy because they knew that if they looked after their baby teeth, they it would get not, a reward. And they would not fall out. Whenever one fell out, they always fall out, Mark. At least two. So they get a reward whenever one fell out. There we go. Nice and, and beautiful you can, little pages. And you can write some little notes too. And goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for listening, everybody. Have you got any questions, Martha? Um, when did, um, when did people first, um, I thought you had a question that you told me earlier, and it was how many? How many fairies are there in the entire world? That's not what we said. You said, how many, how many teeth do we have? Oh, yeah. How many teeth do we all have? Count your teeth and send us a picture of, of the number. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. I hope you enjoyed the tooth fairy magic.